Seem like everything that's been said and done here tonight just brought my mind to other things. I thought about a lot of things since I got here. And I know that there's a lot of people, as Brother Josh already said, are hurting and they're Amen, they're in pain. One way or the other. There's families tonight in pain. Families tonight that's confused. They don't know why things just happen the way it is. God knows. Amen. And that sounds like a cop out, but I do know a God that knows everything. Amen. 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 And I keep telling people, and most people that don't know the God that I serve don't understand when I keep telling them God knows everything. Amen. But I've never seen such a time that we live, and if you listen to everything that's going on and what people say, you'd be so discouraged that you couldn't hold your head up. Right. Amen. Amen. You got to keep holding on, amen. amen. And I thought about everything that's been said and done, right down to the last song. Praise God, and Amen. A little sister is singing; he's working it out for my good, amen. amen. Don't you know God wants you to have the best, amen. Amen. amen? Do you realize that God wants you to have the best, and He said He would give you the sincere desire of your heart, amen. amen. And if you believe that God. Amen. Hears you when you pray. You don't pray foolish things. Amen. Amen. You don't want God's will. When you taste the goodness and the mercy of an almighty God, then you want God's will to be done in your life. Because then you know that the best is yet to come, brother. Can I get an amen? Now listen to me. Woo! My God. We live in a day and time that we live right now. Never seen such a time. Heard old preachers preach about it. Heard it and talk about it. And we're living it right now, Sister Louise. Everything they preached in the Word of God, it's come to pass. And it's here, amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. Men deceiving people. People going to hell because of what people's told them. And they'd rather believe that than to believe the truth, amen. amen. Huh? Come on. Now listen to me, I'm going to preach a little bit. But I'm going to preach to us that belong to God. There's been a many a time and I've thought about sitting down and quitting, amen. But I can't. There's no place to quit. Huh? And I thought about this thing. And I thought about what the pressures was in the Word of God. It ain't changed none. Did you know the Bible said, Amen, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities of the powers of darkness, Amen, and wickedness in high places? That's what the Word of God said. It ain't the people that we're fighting against. Praise God, it's evil spirits that's in their life that we're warned against. Amen. Come on. In the Word of God, Amen, the kings in the Word of God done things because of peer pressure, Amen, that they knew was wrong. To the children of God. Over the Word of God. Brother, have you ever been to a place that they wanted you to quit praying? People don't want you to pray. Think about it. They want your mind off of the things of God. They'd rather you talk bad about your brothers and your sisters than to pray for them. Can you get an amen? amen? They're so discord. And they tell you all this gloom and doom. When there's a cheerful side, amen. amen. When we see a glass that's half empty, amen, we ought to tell them it's half full. Amen. amen. The positive. You've got to be positive, amen, to see the glory of God move. Amen. God's not negative. He's positive. He works it all for your good. Amen. Praise be unto God that lives. Honey, God's never left me not one time. Amen. When troubles come, God always works it out. When I dread to have to face people, God always works it out. Huh? 
He told me in the 91st Psalm that he gave the angels charge over thee, lest thou dice thy foot against the stone. All over the Word of God, he said that there's not even a way that's made that can come against you. Do you believe that? Amen. Praise God, I believe without God's will being done. Amen. They couldn't shoot you, brother. You know why he didn't pull the trigger? It wasn't your time to go. Amen. Amen. Hey, come on now. Woo! I'm a little on the crazy side and I don't see things like everybody else, but I don't believe if they pull the trigger, he'd kill you to start with unless God wanted you dead. Amen. Amen. Oh, come on. Amen. Say, preacher, you've lost your mind. I'm going to preach a little bit. Over oh, there in the Word of God, praise God, there was some three Hebrew boys over there that sung about it. And the king made a decree, amen, that when everybody heard the, the amen, the instruments played, that they were supposed to bow down and worship a golden image. You know, people don't care what you worship as long as you serve their gods. Oh, come on. But as today, Joshua said, amen, choose you this day in whom you'll serve. And for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. Amen. If you'll search through Ace County, you'll find out that there's very few people right in the house of God that worships the true and the living God. Amen. They worship everything else. But they don't worship God. Because if they did, they'd know who He was. Can I get an amen? Amen. They'll persecute you. The Bible said they bring you up in the synagogue and persecute you. I never had no trouble with the drunks. Not one time. They've all respected me. They know where I stand. I've never had no problems with anybody that does drugs. Say, so, preacher, you lost your mind. They all respect me because they know where I stand. But the hardest battle I've ever had was with the religious crowd. Amen? But they think they're right and everybody else is wrong. I've got news for you tonight. Honey, God's Word is truth and every man's a liar according to the Word of God. But the Bible said the king made a decree and he said that if he didn't bow down and worship a golden image when he heard the instruments that he was going to fire up the furnace and burn them up. Ain't that the way the devil is? He'll tell you if you don't do it this way, you'll suffer all. Say, man, I pray God you'll never survive without your job. That's what he'll tell you. You can't have nothing. Your family will go hungry. I got news for you. Praise God. They made the router of old. Said I was young and now I'm old. Have you yet seen God's seed? Forsaken or begging bread. Hey, glory to God. Woo! You may not have a new car. I drove an old green Chevrolet pickup and bought it with two black doors on it for a long time, hey amen. Serve the purpose. Yeah. Yeah. I was at a funeral one time, Lacey, praise God, like scared everybody dead. Hey, Amen. Went back to the house to sit down with the family. Now I've always stuck out in the crowd. You can't hold us. Hey, you pick me out, I'll stick out. You can't help me. I'm just all. I love the Lord. I'm one of them crazy people who loves the Lord. <laughs> All I had to drive at the time, Lace was that old pickup. You remember that old truck? Frame was rusting too. Me and Brother Bill Greer cut a frame into it and welded it back together in the shop over there. Never did have a tire out of line. That's how good God is. Amen. He never wore out, Billy Joe. Amen. Huh? My God. Said a funeral one time, like scared them all to death. Went back to the family, amen, praise be unto God, sitting there around the table. And there's a young woman there, suddenly looked at me and she said, I just want you to know, if they hadn't have been a crowd in that church, said, I'd have left you. Said, you like scared me to death. Said, I've never heard nothing like that. I said, what are you talking about? She said the words that you were talking about. Said, like scared me to death. Her daddy was sitting across the table. She said, don't you know the difference? He said, don't you know the difference? Say, this ain't a pain preacher. Say, look at the truck he's driving. I, hey, man, I'm so proud of my old truck. Hey, man, he wasn't busting nobody else. But he's one that God sent me. Hey, man. And he got me from A to B. Then God sent me to give me another. Can I get an amen? Amen. 
He said, didn't you notice his truck? He said, that man's called of God. I said, I'll take that as a compliment. Amen. I ain't just in this thing for popularity. I ride a bicycle and preach. That's what it takes. Amen. Uh, come on. Everybody wants the finest to the fine, but praise God, the Bible said, Amen, Sister Louise. Praise God, He said, it. if they didn't worship the old golden image, that's what the people want you to do, to go their way. Huh? Do what they're doing. Sure, you can have more money, but praise God, it's going to burn up. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? You leave God out of it, it'll fall. I don't care what it is. Amen. But I'm here to tell you, brother, I've never had to go hungry. Amen. And I don't remember one time that my bills haven't been paid since I've been saved. Amen. amen. There's been a time or two that I sold every gun I had. Amen. Yep. Sold everything that I love. Amen. To pay my bills amen. and to buy my children's clothes and to put food on their table. I praise God. You know what? When I wanted to sell it, Jeff, there's always somebody there to buy it. Hey, pray God. You see, God works both ways. Amen. 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 That's right, brother. Don't you know the blessings of God don't come in material things? You are tired of them. Amen. I remember one time in my life, I'm going to preach a little, I just might as well get on this and tell it. I remember one time in my life, praise God, the house payment was due, life bills due, didn't have no money for groceries, didn't have no money, amen, to put gas in to go to revivals. And I got down, I prayed good, Joe. And I told God, I'm just a young Christian, I said, Lord, you know I ain't going to make it this month. The next day, I went to the mailbox. To the penny, bro. To the penny. I'm talking about right down to the penny. Amen? There was a check in my mailbox to pay my bills. Amen? Right to the penny. So you preach or praise God I don't believe. I don't care what you believe. I'm telling you what I know. Amen? Praise God. Hey, listen. If you can talk to them old Hebrew boys, they tell you this. Amen? Say so you ought to be in there and see the king's face. He thought he was going to burn us up. Sometimes I believe they push me just to see how far I'll go. Yeah. Amen. Or how far I'll let live in this world. Bless him, Lord. I feel that way. It's true. I feel like sometimes, brother, when they ask me to come preach because I'm the last choice. I've been told that. I've even been told that hey, we called everybody else and they couldn't come, so we decided to call you. I said, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> you know why they couldn't come? God had a place for me. Hey man, you might look at it as an insult. You know what I look at it? Praise God, God moved. <laughs> yeah. yeah, brother. Come on now. Look out now. I'm about to fly. Woo. Bible said that he did the furnace seven times harder than he'd ever been feeding. Never, never seen it in this wise. Are you listening to me, child of God? Never been that hard. The Bible said when they opened the furnace that the heat slew the strong men that cast them into the furnace. Killed them, amen. But the old king looked down through there and the blade of that furnace and he cast his men. Said that we not cast three men into the furnace bound. He said, but I see four men loose and unheard and they're walking around. And the four men is locking them to the Son of God. Now my wife will tell you I'm bad to barter. I'll trade and traffic and if I see something I want, I'll sell everything I got to buy. Huh? I've always been that way. I figure that stuff God give me, praise God. 
and it's just there to use for a little while, and I'll trade it off, amen, and get what I want. That's that's just the way I am. I say, preacher, you're crazy. Amen. That's the way I don't lie to yourself. That's the way everybody is. Amen. Come on. If you see something you can't live without, you'll scrape and rake and do everything. You can put in another hour to it. Work. Come on. Huh? Come on. Even if you got a habit of leaving early. Huh? Hey, come on. I know how it is. I sold a gun a while back. Amen. I saw that pistol to pay Brother Jeff for some parts that he bought. Never thought another thing about it. The boy bought the gun, never shot it. Come right back to me. Come back to Brother Jeff's shop. He said, Did you used to own this gun? I said, I sure did. He said, How's it shoot? I said, Did you never shot it? He said, Not a time. And he handed me the gun. He said, do you want me? I said, what do you want for? He said, you misunderstand me. He said, I'm going to give it to you. He said, God said, give it back to you. Uh, I put it back in the safe and it's right to have. Huh? Come on. Don't tell me God ain't good. Huh? He said he'd give you the sincere desires of your heart. But listen to me, child of God. He won't bless you in your sin. Nope. You, do, you put forth every effort in your life and strive for perfection and try to live right and try to do right no matter what the world tells you and how they treat you. Amen. Praise God. God will bless you right in front of them. I promise you that. But the Bible said amen. Amen. They couldn't burn up the children of God. They come out there not even their hair sins nor the smell of smoke on them. Can I get a amen? That sounds like victory to me. Over there in the Word of God have you ever felt like quit praying? I have. Man. I've been so broken hearted and so down and out, sister, that I couldn't even mumble a prayer. To be honest with you, I didn't even feel like praying. Most preachers will lead you to believe they're some kind of super saint. But that's a lie. Are you listening to me? Now listen to me. I've been to the place I didn't want to pray. I've been to the place that when I did pray, I didn't feel like He heard me. Over there in the Word of God, there's an old boy named Dan. And he tried to stop him from praying. The Bible said he went right up into his room and he opened the window toward the Holy Spirit. Amen. And he prayed three times a day. And that ungodly religious crowd, amen, brought him right before the king and said, even trick the king in the, in the sign of the decree, amen. They knew that he's well dang and wasn't going to budge. Huh? Let me tell you something about you, brother. The people you work with and the people that know you, your family, the ones, your neighbors, they know where Jerry Goodman will stand. They may push you, brother, just to test you a little bit. But they know you won't budge. How many of men knew that Daniel wouldn't quit praying? How did they do before they got the king? Hey, man, we thought they'd kill him. Hey, did a lot of them thought they'd get rid of him. Woo! Praise God, I'm still here. Man. Praise God. They're jealous, brother, and they wanted rid of him. Yep. The king was troubled in his heart because he knew he'd messed up. You know what he knew? The Bible said his carcass was troubled all night long. You know why? Because he knew that he's fixing to put his hands on the man of God. He was dreading it. But you know why they do it? Because the crowd around them wants them to. And they don't have enough backbone. Huh? I'm telling you the truth. People will tell lies on you, and the next thing you know, praise God, everybody in the country will believe you. Amen. So true. I can tell when people go to squirming, sister, what people's been telling. Huh? Amen. Say, so, preacher, you're crazy. I've been this thing for 20 years. Don't you tell me? I don't know. Huh? This young preacher come to my house last year, amen, when we was having a cookout. Squirm like a worm on hot ashes. I said, stay and eat with us. Can't do it, he said. I said, just stay. And stay with us and eat with us. 
I said, see what's going to happen here in a few minutes. He said, I can't do it. So I just stopped him and I told him, I said, listen, don't pay no attention to what people said about me. I said, just make a statement for yourself. Don't believe anything you said. And I said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If you'll stay here tonight, amen, and stay for our meeting, I said, I'll feed you one of the best suppers that you've ever eaten. And I'll treat you the best that you've ever been treated. And I said, you'll hear some of the best singing that you've ever heard. And I said, I don't why would Jesus come by? I said, he'll bring a message, amen, right out of heaven, amen, and you can rejoice. And I said, praise God, then you make your mind up. And I said, if you don't want anything else, with me. When I meet you on the street, I said, I'll nod my head, you not yours. And you won't even have to acknowledge in front of your friends that you even know they lost. Amen. Hey, praise the to God. Hmm. Found out there's a lie. Amen. He's one of my best friends. Right now. Huh? Now listen to me. The Bible said that they throw an old Daniel in a den of lions. Do you know what God done for him? You see, you ain't going to be able to help what people do to you sometimes. Huh? You ain't even going to church. You ain't even going to have. You ain't even going to have no control. Amen of what's fixing to happen in your life sometime. <laughs> Don't you know you've got an angel? The Bible said that God sent an angel down in that line of yeah. huh? And closed the mouth of the lines. Mm-hmm. Sister, they couldn't eat that man of God they don't want to. You know why? Because the hand of God is on him. Yeah. Listen to me. Are you hearing me, child of God? This is for somebody. I don't preach just to hear my head roll. But you know what the king knew? He knew that when he went back to the dental lines, that Daniel would still be there. Because huh? he went out there and he cried out, Oh, Daniel! Thy Lord has delivered thee. Yeah. And Daniel looked up and he said, Live forever, O King. Amen. He wasn't mad at him. Yeah. You know, God showed him his glory. And you know what happened to the ones that throwed him in? Praise God, the Bible said to cast them into the lion's den. Yeah. Amen. And the lions yeah. ripped them in pieces. Hey, devour them. Amen. Praise be unto God. You know what's going to happen when God's church gets ready to go home? Praise God, it's going victorious. Amen. They may be things that come against it in this life, but it won't prevail. Can I get a name? Man? Praise God. Yeah. God sent Moses down to get his children. He told him, He said, Take your staff. And he said, You lay it down and, and it'll turn into a serpent. And the Bible said it done that. You know, people can mock the church and the living God. Yeah. They can go through the motions and look pretty close. Take no power. God. Amen. The Bible said Moses laid his staff down and turned it into a serpent. And King Pharaoh brought in his soothsayers, his witchcraft. And they all had a staff, just like Moses. And they laid them down and they turned it into a serpent. But when they done that, you know what happened? The serpent that Moses' staff turned into swallowed them up. Yep. I mean, I mean, don't tell me they ain't no power in this thing. Just walk on. I don't know what you're going through this evening. Praise God, take a deep breath. Tomorrow look a little brighter. <laughs> Amen. If you make it through that day, then praise God, the next day will even look brighter. <coughs> the first thing you know, you come through it victorious. Because of what Jesus Christ walked through it with you. Amen. You know what? You're going to have to face service. Hard times will come. Amen. But you know why? It's so everybody in this world will know who you belong to. Yep. Huh? Have you thought about it? The Bible said the sufferings of this life shall not be weak and powerful, the glory shall be revealed in us. Right. Huh? 
Praise God, sister. Amen. Your baby boy knows your his mom still praying. Huh? Faith. I don't think I've ever been to meet with you not one time that you didn't call his name. Amen. Yeah. You know what's going to happen. God speaks in the truth of his heart. Amen. Huh? Say, preacher, you're crazy. Hide and watch. Amen. Amen. My dad used to say, Mark it down your little book, son. Everything he told me, brother, come just, just exactly the way he said to write it down. He knew more than I did. I'm here to tell you, child of God, don't give up. Grab a hold of somebody that cares. Amen. Let's go on. I, I've said it many a time, and I, I told people all over this country, go to see our congregation. Amen. Go to see. It. They don't look like everybody is. They don't talk like everybody is. They ain't been where a lot of people speak. Amen. God still loves them. Amen. Amen. I thank God to be a part of the misfits. Huh? You know what I know? Let me let, let me just enlighten you a little bit. I know if I go into a warfare, spirit. Amen. When this church comes together and begins to pray, the battle's already won. Amen. Amen. Look around you at the miracles. All over this church. Sister, you ought to know the devil's going to fight. How many prayers he answered for us last week? Amen. Praise God. That's his He wants you to be there. Victory's come. Amen. Victory's come. God's not dead. He's still alive. Amen. I'm going to hug. There's a lot of things coming to my mind. Right down to the Red Sea. I've been there where I thought the devil was going to get me. Huh? You ever been there? Yeah, I might. Warfare. I told this and I watched on the run tell me. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Tried my best to keep the faith system. Been so scared at times, praise God. Hey Amen. I wouldn't even open my eyes. For fear of what was standing. I was in a dead, dead sleep one night in my bedroom. All at once something woke me up. And I could feel his breath. worst evil I've ever felt in my life standing right over me. And it was so real that every time it breathed, my hair would move. So I don't believe I don't care what you believe. I'm telling you the Standing over me. I wouldn't move bless you. because I knew that if I woke my wife up, she'd see what was standing in our room. Amen. I lay just as still as I could lay. I kept my eyes just as tight as I could keep them closed because I was afraid of them. And I could feel the warm breath just a breathing on me. And I could feel it every time he breathed, my hair would move. He'd say, Preacher, you've lost your mind. He was that real. And all I could think about is what I'm going to do. And all at once, out of the back of my mind, come a name. Yep. His name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I started whispering. Woo! Jesus. 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 And I just kept saying the word Jesus. Amen. And all at once, it was like somebody turned an air conditioning on in my house. Amen. There was chills hit me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. Amen. And praise God, you know what fell in my room that night? Peace came. Amen. Amen. My glory to God. I wasn't afraid anymore. I could open my eyes because I know what came into my room. The devil and the demons of hell couldn't have it. Amen. He knew that victory. Glory to God. <laughs> Been a lot of things I've read and I've prayed for. 
Not like I said, I don't know what you're facing. I dread a lot of things. I dread Christ. It scares me to death. Say, preacher, you come to me. They call me for jury duty, Nathan twice. First time I had to go to, I was going to have to go to states when me and my wife drove all the way down there and found the court house. And they'd already locked some fellow up a week before for mentioning the name of the Lord, amen, in the courtroom. And I thought, my God, I'm going to prison. <laughs> <laughs> I said, brother, was no way I was going to make it through the trial without mentioning the name of the Lord. There wasn't no way. I don't have what I was going to have to say on my mind. So I began to pray. I'm worried about it to the night before I had to go. Got home and there's a message on the answer machine. It said everybody had been dismissed. Nobody had to serve. I'm going to go. Lo and behold, here it come again. I had to go back again. This time they took me to the courtroom. Didn't let me off. I sat there for three days, brother, witness the people in that courtroom. I even met a young lady in Los County, thought she was a witch. I'm pretty sure Sister Sally, I convinced her she wasn't. Amen. <laughs> Come on. Say, preacher, you crazy. Met a boy been a praying for for several years. Come and sit down with me in the courtroom. Amen. Praise God. Talking about Jesus. Said he got saved. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. The third day I went in. Praise God. Got to witness to another young woman. Hey, come on. Praise God. In the third day I didn't even they sent us home. I got to talk to three different people in that courtroom and didn't even get to talk to the judge. Amen. I got to Praise God. I didn't want to be that, bro. They told me I couldn't get out of there, bro. But God said I could go home. <laughs> and I went home. Amen. They told me, praise God, told us in there. <laughs> Amen. Said, absolutely don't be talking to nobody that's up here for trial. <laughs> My God, you can't let me look at people's faces and tell for they're for trial or not. <laughs> huh? I done messed up, Joe. <laughs> hey, hey, I know them all. I was out there on the back and he talking that bunch for each other. I knew everybody. He said, you can't do that. They're up here for trial. I said, I can't help it. Praise God, they man. Huh? They would have thrown me out for that, but they didn't. You see, young ones, God knows what we're going to have to face. Yeah. Before I leave this world, I don't have no idea what's coming. But I know these battles are coming. Amen. Because God's been a blessing too much. Amen. And there's a warfare coming. But you know what? I already know it's coming. I know already it's been won. There's no doubt in my mind. Huh? <coughs> I ain't worried to be. I'm just going to go back to believe in God. I told this brother right here, praise God, and, and you can think I'm crazy, it don't make no difference. I remember a time in my life, brother David Miller sitting right here, and he'll tell you the truth. When I was looking for a trailer to put my tent in, I stopped over and seen his on the hill. And I asked him, I said, Dave, is that my trailer? He said, you're crazy. I said, that's mine. He said, no, that's the one all the four-wheelers in. I said, God told me I could have a white, and you sure let it eat mine. Dave said, I'm sure that makes you sure. want to say, man, praise God. I'm glad he go us short, because I'd have took him, and that wasn't the one I was supposed to have. God see it. Amen. Get ready, church. You're fixing the seat bottom. Yep. I told this brother right here, we worry about things they make God's already got control of Amen. I told this brother right here, God's sent CDs all over this world. Ever. <coughs> People getting saved by listening to the messages that comes out of this little church. Said, so don't believe it. I can take you to Lebanon, Virginia, and show you a young man and give his life to Jesus after listening to a message that was preached in this church. <coughs> Well, last time I saw him, he had a hair come down to his waist and hit plaited in a ponytail. Rough character. Rode horses with him back in the mountain, bro. <coughs> Tried to witness, he wouldn't listen. He called Brother Greg Coke. And he told Brother Greg, he said, praise God. He said, I've been listening to that little crazy preacher on the internet. Yeah! <laughs> he said, I went to church. 
the ice down they made and give my life to Jesus. Amen. He said, I went this morning and he said, I cut my hair, amen, and give it to the locks of love. Woo! Come on! Amen. His wife got saved. His son got saved. I told this brother right here, I said, you never know who might listen to a CD and praise God want to give us a bill. Amen. 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 Do you believe it? Absolutely. Come on. Do you think that that can't happen? It can. I'm telling you, it can. Keep believing God. Say, but what about this preacher? What about it? Don't you know God owns it all? Amen. Amen. Hmm? God owns it all. Amen. And we think we got to do this or that. No, we got to do just wait on the Lord. Amen. And it's done, brother. Wait on the Lord and it's done. Amen. Amen. I'm going to hush. You youngers want to sing some more. <coughs> we don't get to hear you so much. Uh, I thank God for this family right here. I pray for them. I guess I worry them to death. And I don't mean to. <coughs> but when I don't hear from them, I worry about it. <coughs> and I start calling and leaving messages. <laughs> Amen. I thank God for these young ones. <coughs> We're a blessed people just by having them here this morning. Amen. 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 If you need to pray, if you need to pray, praise God, you come on. God, I serve for you. He's never failed me. Not one time has He ever let me run. There's been a things in my time. I, I'm telling you. God still likes you. I don't care how bad it gets, God still likes you. Listen, oh my God. Come on. You ever felt that way? Oh. 
won't do what I want him to. He just can't pray. Hey, but preacher, why can't I make a mind stand? You'll never make him understand till God intervenes. Can I get an amen? Just keep walking, praise God. And when troubles come, they're going to look out the one that's got the power of God in their life to be a help to Praise God, church. Don't you know that God is raising up a church on Little Horse Creek that's going to change this county? Don't you know that people are looking to this field and they buy it for help? Hallelujah. Praise God. Seen the love of God's people. His mom told me this week, said she told her son. She like God said, just call one person in that church. Said everybody in that church they filled up for the love of God. Said there ain't one of them that won't come to help you, praise God. Don't give up, amen. God before I ever took his church. You gave me a God has sent a congregation of every walking for every circumstance and every pain it's ever had. All those preachers laid I said God put them to me so I didn't have to be. going to be people that comes to these no relations that I won't understand and won't know how to help. But I promise you by the authority of God's word there'll be somebody a second Because you done live through it and you know the victory, praise God. Shoot. left hanging over my head. Don't give up.
legs is like he's waiting on you.